Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to be visiting with the head women's basketball coach at Missouri Southern, Coach Ronnie Russell, in his seventh season with the program. And the Lions coach are 11 and 1 now, 4 and 1 in MIAA play. It's the best start for the program since 92 93. So that's 30 years have come and gone since a start like this. Congratulations to the opening of the year. I know you're nearing the midpoint right now. Talk about where the program is. Well, Joey, thanks for having me on first off. I appreciate you uh, with that. But yeah, we're off to a great start. Uh, like you said, 11 and 1, ranked number three in the country. If you'd told me that back in September, I'd be looking at you like you're crazy. But uh, our kids have worked hard. Uh, they played some really good basketball. Uh, we've done some things um, that, like you said, haven't done, been done in 30 years. Um, but it, it's it's been a positive so far uh, through our first 12 games for the majority of the time. Uh, I think our defense has really played well. Uh, we were lucky enough uh, this year to play up in Kansas City at Municipal at a uh, kind of a, a pre turn a pre um, preseason event and playing Lubbock Christian and Minnesota Duluth, two teams uh, that are uh, will probably make the NCAA tournament this year. Uh, was able to get a couple wins there, and and it was good for our kids to go into those type of games and play and compete. And we found ways to win, and we've had to do that several times this year. Um, we've had to find ways to win and it's been fun watching these kids grow and develop and, and, you know, continue to come closer as a team. And, you know, and I've told several people this all the time, I think we got a very mature team. It may not look like it on paper. We got a lot of sophomores to play some juniors, underclassmen, but I think we're a very mature team. Uh, they do a great job of in practice, understanding what we're wanting to, to work on, uh, with our scouting reports, they do a great job of, of listening and then taking that onto the floor and, and doing a good job of taking things uh, that other teams like to do on the offensive end, taking them away out of that. Uh, so I've been very pleased with our, our start from the season. Uh, it's still, you know, like you said, it's we're kind of at the halfway point because we're at Christmas, and that's most times what we think is the halfway point. But uh, this year we got 30 games, so we still got uh, <laughs> eight, at least 18 regular season games um, with that. So – uh, but we're excited. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we lost a tough one last night, but overall, our first 12 games uh, going into the break have been really nice. To, and to be let, sitting at 11 1 and number three in the country, we're excited about that. No doubt. Okay, I'll give you at the 40% point. How, how about that? Then? That'll be that'll be good. Coach, I want to ask you really quickly then with, with what you mentioned in, in, at the start of the season, too. I would be surprised if one or both of those opponents you talked about were not in the tournament. Uh, it, it really, probably both of them, but playing a municipal for your girls to get to, to go up and do that. Can you talk about that really quickly? I mean, that, that had to be a, a nice experience. It is. You know, of course, that's where we hold our conference tournament at every year at the end of the season. So uh, that starts our postseason. So it was great for our new kids uh, that have not experienced that to get up and play a couple of games, get kind of familiar with it. Uh, so when we go up uh, in March for our, our conference tournament, they're not completely in all uh, of the facility because it is, it is a big facility. It's, uh, it'll be the biggest one we play in all year. Uh, for his regular season and that type of thing. But just a historic uh, uh, play in a municipal with the history that the number of people that have walked on that floor, uh, the greats that have played there, just exciting to do that. And MIAA and uh, Mike Racy does a great job and Amber Feldman do a great job of, of hosting that event, running it. Uh, I think every team up there could say they had a, an enjoyable experience besides if, you know, if they happen to lose a game. But uh, the overall experience playing up there uh, right in downtown Kansas City, it makes it a Division One experience. Because a lot of times, you know, you see the Division Ones are going to a facility, uh, an arena, and all the hotels or everything is right, you know, next to it, and they just walk everywhere. So it makes it for a great experience for our kids to be a part of that. You know, like I said, it, it gives us a good opportunity to get two games uh, where we're going to play our conference tournament at. Coach, you talked uh, briefly about the the fact that uh, there there was a loss last night. That was against Central Missouri, a top 20 matchup. Both teams were undefeated coming in. Can you talk about that game just a moment? I mean, uh, MIAA play obviously well in swing now with that game. Yeah, uh, I think the majority of the teams have played at least four games as far as in conference, or some of them played five. Uh, but, yeah, it was a, a hard-fought game. Uh, Central did a great job of, of taking us out of some of the things that we wanted to do. Uh, we did not shoot the ball very well uh, for the first three quarters. Um, when we got down – we was down eight at half, uh, ended up being down, I think it was, 10 at the end of three, and then they got a quick run, went up 15. 
uh, called timeout with about eight minutes to go and, and just asked the kids, hey, are we going to give up and quit or are we going to fight and try to get back in this? Uh, and our kids took it upon themselves. They fought. We got back in it. We got it to one two different times. Um, and then, uh, of course, they made some free throws and we had one more shot. Lacey took one from about uh, just past half court that went off the backboard. Uh, if she hits that, then uh, we would have won the game. But that, that would have been her second half court shot she would have made in that game if she would have made it. So, uh, but it was good. You know, Coach Live for Up at Central does a great job. Uh, they got some they got some really talented kids. Brooke Latrell was just a handful. Uh, she, I think she ended up with 24 and 12 uh, or 24 and 16, did something like that. It was really good. But I, I, our kids did a great job, like I said. Lacey Stokes, you know, she goes for 31. Uh, six rebounds, six assists, no turnovers uh, against a very good team. And, uh, you know, we can't speak enough about our whole team uh, as a group, what they've done so far this year. And then uh, and I just told him, I said, we got to use this as a learning lesson um, that, you know, I, I thought we were a little lethargic the first half defensively. We didn't take them out of a whole lot of things that we got to make sure that we have the energy and we do things that the little things that we need to do, pay attention to those little details. Um, I think going forward, like I said, I think our kids – uh, we'll understand that. Uh, you know, the nice thing is the it's a good bad. We get a break here to rest our legs a little bit before we start the second half of this uh, conference schedule. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to have that bad taste in our mouth for uh, <laughs> at least two and a half weeks before we can get back on the floor and play a game. That is the frustrating thing about a loss going into a break. I, yeah. I completely understand that. Speaking now with Ronnie Russell for – Missouri Southern here on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please like the video and share the video, and we would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. You talked about Lacey Stokes. She had 31 last night, a pretty good stat line. She's averaging 16.8 points per game for you this season. I know that's not a surprise to you because uh, she definitely knows how to uh, to light things up offensively, and she's just a good all-around player. Talk about her season here so far in 22. Well, she's had uh, a very solid start to the season, um, shooting the ball better than she did a year ago, uh, which is which is uh, a big thing. We wor she's worked on all summer and through the preseason. Uh, her and Coach Porter get in the gym all the time and just work on different things. And the thing I love about Lacey is Coach Porter can talk about something maybe in our ball screen action or uh, what a move that she needs to kind of work on to counter something, and she picks it up so quick. Her IQ of understanding the game is so high. Uh, that she does so many different things for us. You know, she does score for us, and, and we need her to score. But you, you look at her stat line, like I said, she's this year she's only averaging only, I say this, at a 5'4 kid, four rebounds a game. You know, last year she averaged almost six rebounds. Uh, and she's over six assists a game this year. Um, and her assist to turnover ratio is over four right now, uh, which is incredible for a kid that has the ball in her hand 95% of the time when we're on offense. Uh, so she does a great job there. And then defensively, uh, I think she's a little, not quite three steals a game. She disrupts a lot of things. She disrupts a lot of people, um, other teams' point guards on not allowing them to get to where they want to get and get them in the offense. Uh, just does a tremendous job. And just um, she's a, such a humble kid. She just uh, she just wants to win. She don't care what her stat line is. The two things she looks at after a game is assists and her turnovers. She's not worried about her scoring or anything like that. She's worried about how many assists did I have, how many turnovers did I have. Um, and just an incredible young lady that does so many positive things for us. I mean, she's just constantly in the gym working to get better. Um, you know, she was MIAA Player of the Week last week, uh, and that was in a, with one game where she played at Central, against Central Oak. She has 27. Uh, next game we play against Newman, and she plays, I think, 17 minutes or 18 minutes in that game because we won it pretty easily. Uh, but she's still solid. She didn't try to do too much, try to get her numbers. She had six points, but she had six rebounds, six assists, four steals. Uh, and that's just her. That's just her mindset. All she what it matters to her is did we win the basketball game? Uh, it's not a matter of how many points did I score or anything like that. And it's sometimes you don't find those kids too often that are that special, that do so many positive things for your program, not just on the floor, but off the floor as well. Uh, just an incredible young lady um, on and off the floor. 
Coach, I, a couple of years ago, I had a chance to visit with Maddie Stokes, and she was putting together some some big numbers, especially as the season went on. And then, of course, last season, Lacey Stokes come, came in to the program, and and you know you you've been developing and recruiting very well there. But one of the things that stands out to me about this season's team is it's it's not just Stokes and Stokes; it is Stokes and Stokes, but it's yeah. it's it's Johns and Jones as well, <laughs> Maya Johns and Chrislyn Jones and Lane Skiles. I mean, uh, it, it it looks to be just a team effort to, that has you with that that top five ranking yeah and, and it really has um you know that's we brought uh i could talk about with maddie and and uh, lacy they've been doing what they do um to me lane skiles uh doesn't get enough credit sometimes because she didn't score a ton of points um she gets she's solid on scoring she shoots a great percentage uh but the big thing lane does and i, and I tell a lot of people this all the time if you really watch her on the defensive end uh, in all phases of the defensive part of the uh, game, whether it's on the ball with a ball handler, uh, one pass away, two pass away, and help side post defense. She's our best ball, best defender overall. She does so many positive things for us uh, on the defensive end uh, and probably doesn't get enough credit for that because she didn't have all the steals or she didn't have block shots like our Maddie and, La- and Lacey does. But she does so many different things that helps our defense uh, while we're on the defensive end. Uh, and then, of course, she shoots the ball so well. Uh, there's times that we get uh, frustrated with it because she doesn't shoot enough because uh, she's such a great shooter. You know, Maya Johns is, is having another solid year. Um, and part of our problem sometimes is we've got too many kids that are perfectionists and they don't think <laughs> they should miss a shot. Uh, and they get mad when they miss one shot. So it's kind of funny to watch them, how they respond. Uh, but Maya's having a solid year. She's one of those kids – She's not shooting the balls as well as she thinks she should, uh, but she's a kid that we uh, that comes off the bench for us. Uh, was it came off the bench all last year, coming off the bench for us this year? And part of that is because she can score so quickly. Uh, she's such a uh, an aggressive offensive player, and she shoots normally shoots a pretty good percentage for us. So I love her coming off the bench because she gives us that that uh, energy and ability to score the ball quickly. Uh, when she comes in, you know, I tell her uh, all the time when people, you know, if if we're behind, she's got to give she's going to give us a chance to get even. If we're even, she's going to give us a chance to get a lead. If we're ahead, we're going to extend that lead with her when she comes in the ball game because she can score so so well. Uh, and then the other one you talked about is Kristen Jones, transferred from Texas A&M Kingsville. She's from the Edmond, Oklahoma area. Uh, went to Edmond, Santa Fe, um, and of course went to Seminole Junior College there in Oklahoma as well, and had two really good years down there. But she's just a kid that gives us another offensive threat. Um, you know, last year, Brooke Stauffer played in that two spot, and Brooke did a great job as far as on the defense, all the hustle plays, doing all those little dirty things nobody else wants to do. But Brooke wasn't a big-time scorer. Where this year, Chrislyn gives us another score and another kid that can do things off the dribble coming off ball screens, whether she can score it or make a pass uh, and see somebody open, she can create for other people. So that's been a big plus for us. And like you said, we've had multiple people uh, in double digits. We're, we're close to about four or five kids and averaging anywhere from uh, a little over eight points to, of course, Lacey at 16 or 17 points a game. So they can't it's it's we've got to the point now where they just can't key in and shut down Lacey or shut down Maddie or Maya because we got more people that can score the basketball. Uh, and the nice thing is we got kids coming off the bench that are giving us good energy as well. Cameron call has really come into her own a little bit, not so much offensively, but the defensive side of the ball, where a year ago she struggled to play defense at times. But this year, her effort on the defensive end has been tremendous. Uh, the hustle play she gives us is, is is a big boost for us. Haley Grant, same way, her ability to go rebound. Claremore, Oklahoma kid, that uh, long athletic kid that I, has continued to develop uh, and do some positive things. Uh, then our other starter, Caitlin Honeycutt, another kid that uh, – early in the year struggled to shoot the basketball starting to shoot the ball better and if we can get her being consistent with crystal and lane now you've got to how you going to guard are are you going to take lacy away and really make them take her completely away now you kick out and we got open shooters uh to knock threes if you take you you stay with the shooters now you give lacy free run are you going to help with a big now it's a dump to maddie inside or my inside to do some positive things so um you know if we ever get click into where we go as a group, start shooting the ball at a consistent basis. And I'm not saying crazy shooting, uh, but if we shoot 44% as a team and maybe 31% from the three, 
we're going to be hard to beat. Uh, I just, I really believe because our defense uh, is good enough that we can, we can guard most people, most teams with that. But it's exciting to see uh, our kids begin to develop. Uh, and like I said, our, with our start and everything else, um, and our, our kids' expectations are extremely high. Uh, they know we got to the, the regional tournament, played in the first round of the NCAA tournament last year, got beaten overtime, but. Our kids are hungry to get farther. Uh, they want to. They want to win a regular season conference. They want to win the postseason conference tournament. They want to win the region tournament and get to the lead eight. So their expectations are really high, and that's the fun thing about it is they will work to get there. Uh, and it's been fun watching them develop and grow as a team and as individuals get better. And so it makes us better as a team. So it's exciting uh, as our development continues through the year. Coach, it's, it sounds exciting, and, and it's been fun to, to watch you all over the course of, of this season so far. Again, at the 40% mark, you all take on Illinois Springfield out of conference play on December 30th and then back into the MIAA portion of the schedule uh, coming back from break. But, Coach, thank you for taking time with us today. I really appreciate that. Hearing about this team, the Lions are number three in the country, 11-1 and one right now. Again, best start for the program in 30 years, and just for perspective, I was a senior in college that year, and Coach, you had just graduated there yeah. in Joplin uh, yeah, the year before right. in 92. So yeah. um, I know I gave away maybe state secrets in our age there. <laughs> that's all That's all right. What, what a fantastic start to the year, Coach. We look forward to following you as this season goes on. Thank you for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Joey, thank you very much. Look forward to talking to you again.